In this video, I'm going to show you different ways on how to check how much RAM you have in your desktop or laptop. Now let me jump right into it without beating around the bush. The first method is to check how much RAM you have within the operating system itself. Now there are so many different ways to do this in Windows 10 or Windows 11. The first way is to simply right click on this PC, select properties, and in the window that opens, look at the installed RAM. For me, it shows 32 gigabytes of RAM. Now, of course, this method does not get into the details of what type of RAM it is and what frequency it operates at. It just tells me the total amount of RAM I have. Another easy and straightforward way is to search for system information in the search bar. With the window open, look for installed physical memory field, which for me says that I have 32 gigabyte RAM again. Again, this does not tell me any more details regarding what kind of RAM I have or what frequency it operates at. It just tells me the total amount of RAM I have. Anyhow, the third method is to use the task manager. Simply open the task manager by either pressing Ctrl or Delete or by right clicking on the task bar at the bottom and then selecting task manager. With the task manager open, head over to the performance tab and then select memory from the left hand menu. Here at the top of the window, you can see that I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. Now the good thing about task manager is that it also tells you the frequency of the RAM which for me is 3200 megahertz and if you are well versed enough with the different frequencies of different type of RAM you may be able to deduce that the type of RAM I have is DDR4 most likely. Another amazing thing that task manager tells you is the amount of RAM being used. For me it stands at 24% at this time. This is a great tool in determining whether you need an upgrade or not. The final and the most comprehensive method is to use a simple and a free to install third party utility known as CPU-Z. For anyone wanting to know the details about the hardware they have installed, CPU-Z is one of the industry standards. I have included the link to this utility in the description below. Also know that I am not affiliated with this utility in any form or manner. For those of you who are not aware, this is one of the most popular utilities that many use. Guys, if you are still with me and if you are learning some valuable stuff, please subscribe and like the video. It is unfortunate for me that people often do not subscribe to channels that give easy and straight away answers and would rather subscribe to channels that beat around the bush and tell stories. So please help me and my channel, it will literally take a second worth of your time. Anyhow, with this utility downloaded and installed and once running, simply head over to the memory tab and that should give you all the details that you need. So here you can see that it tells me the size of the total memory that I have which is 32 gigabytes. It tells me the type it belongs to which is DDR4, whether it is working in dual or single channel mode. And if I want to get even more information about each individual RAM stick installed, I can head over to the SPD tab for even more details. Now of course some of you may not have access to Windows at a given time and would still want to know how much RAM a desktop or laptop has. Well there are two ways to do that then. You can type in the model name of your laptop for instance on Google and search up its official spec sheet online. The official spec sheet online for a given laptop should tell you the total amount of RAM it has installed and also tell you more information about it such as what frequency it operates at and how these sticks are distributed. But unfortunately this method can only work for laptops or for pre-built desktops. For custom built desktops this method may not work at all. Which brings me to the second method which is to open up your laptop or desktop and read the labels of each individual RAM stick installed. The labels often have the size mentioned. I hope you learned something of value here. I strive to make my videos that are to the point so you can just learn and go about your business as quickly as possible. The only appreciation that I ask in return is that you subscribe to my channel and leave a like perhaps. Thank you for watching.